Hey guys, Ivan here and let's do this. Mr. Olympia 2022 prejudging is a wrap and what a show, man. What a show. What a deep freaking lineup. This was crazy. And it's really hard to say who's going to win this show or who's going to place where in that top 6, but if you're asking me right off the bat, I'm going to analyze this show deeply, but right off the bat if I had to choose one guy to win this show, I would go with Haru Chopin, honestly. He brought the best combination of size, completeness, fullness and conditioning and from what I saw, to me he looks the most dominant. You're probably wondering what I think about Big Ramy. I don't know man, he was always on the side, he was never moved in the middle by the judges and he kind of seemed underwhelming. I haven't seen any other videos or other people, live streams, I just watched the live stream, the official live stream, I listened to Phil Heath commentate and he didn't make any kind of predictions, so at this point I have no idea what people are thinking, me personally, I saw Hadi honestly winning it. I was really surprised by Derek Lansford, his shape was just amazing, from the front it was just ridiculous, the small waist, the vacuum and how big his arms were and how much his lats were popping, crazy V-taper, uh, his legs were a little slim but from the back he looked ridiculous and overall I feel like he's probably in that top 2, <laughs> honestly I think it's him and Hardy, that's what I saw. Obviously I wasn't there, I wasn't there in person, so maybe the judges decided to put Rami aside because he won because he's that dominant, because the judges saw him as the clear winner and they didn't want to compare him to, the, to anybody else. But I don't think that's the case, really. I don't think Big Ram is going to be in top three. I think he was very underwhelming. I think his back was pretty bad. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Now, as far as uh, Brandon Curry, I'm pretty sure Hart is beating him this time around. He did not bring condition. He's not very much conditioned. He does seem a little bit bigger, but I think Hart is bigger than him in both upper body and he's absolutely destroying him in legs. And he also has a great V taper. Compared to Derek, he has bigger legs. And maybe Derek has a prettier back, but Hardy also looks good in back. Uh, Nick Walker, that's something you're probably very curious about. I wouldn't complain if he won the show, I don't think he's going to win it, but he deserved his spot in that top 5, yeah top 5, because Samson was in second callout as well, but they called him back to the first callout, so he's gonna be the top 6 most likely, but the other 5 guys are gonna make that top 5, now as you can see in this video right here, again Hari Japan looks by far the most dominant to me, like his polish, his conditioning, his size compared to the other guys, uh, Brandon looks good inside chest, but that's about it. Look at Samson. Samson beats Brandon in most of the poses. I really wish his glutes were a little bit sharper. If they were, I would love to see him win this show. <laughs> I would I would love to see him win this, but I don't think he's going to because of his glutes. Now, Big Grammy, look at Big Grammy from the back. Horrible, horrible. He can't win the Mr. Olympia like this. No way. No, no way. He looks way too slim in that lower back, nothing is happening there, his glutes are sharp, but that's about it, like his back, very, very weak, it seems like he's atrophied, like really bad, look at, look at Hadi right here, look at the back, like crazy, and I could see Nick Walker edging out Derek Lansford, because he's bigger, he's definitely bigger, has a bigger frame, he has more muscle, his legs are bigger, but Derek has that crazy looking shape, crazy V-taper, so honestly right now I am betting on Derek, but again it's very possible that it's gonna be Nick who places ahead of him. Rami looked pretty good in the absent eyes, those indentations were visible but they weren't too bad, his abs were pretty thick and you know he's a big guy, he's a wide guy but there were a couple of flaws that I don't think can be overlooked and as you can see Derek and Hadi were in the center of the callout the entire time, so I'm pretty confident it's gonna be the two of them in that top two. And as far as third place, I think it's gonna be Brandon Curry, fourth Nick Walker, which leaves Big Ramy at fifth, but then look at Samson when he does this pose. He looks phenomenal, man, right? But he's gonna be probably sixth. So that's the way I see it. Once again, Hari Chopin, Derek Lansford, Brandon Curry, Nick Walker, Big Ramy, and then Samson Dauda. I know this would be a huge upset if the two times champ goes from first to fifth. I know that's that's not likely to happen. Maybe they're gonna give him third or second, but that's what I would do. That's how I would place them based on this video, based on all other high quality photos. I just really don't think somebody can win the Mr. Olympia with a back like this. As they say, shows are won from the back, but they are lost the same way. 
Also look at Big Ramy's uh, arms from the back, like they look also kind of atrophied. So this, I don't think this is a good Big Ramy. I mean, his conditioning is okay, but I really don't think this is the best Big Ramy, as they were saying he's going to be. Look at the legs, look at the outer sweep. Something is wrong there, something is definitely wrong, and I'm sure the judges can notice that. And also look at the lats, how much, how smaller they are. So his lats atrophied, it looked horrible from the back, and his legs do not look well, they do not look good. The separation is very shallow, and there is something happening in those outer sweeps. So I don't have Big Remy winning or placing above fifth. Personally, I think Nick Walker did enough to beat him. I think Nick looked great, I think he looked bigger, I think he looked very conditioned, he looked hard, he looked full and round, and he obviously beat Hunter Labrada, his last year's arrival, and Hunter is in second callout, his back wasn't very good and his conditioning wasn't great or his fullness. It seems like Mikhail Krizo forgot to put a tan on, I don't know what happened, he was so pale, I know he's pale genetically, but he should have done something about it, like going to tanning bed or put a few more coats of tan, I don't know. Uh, Derek Lansford, a big surprise honestly to me, he looked really good, really conditioned, really full, really round, crazy back, look at his back, man. look at this back, compare this back to Big Ramy's back. Not even comparable, not even comparable, like he completely destroyed him in this one. Maybe Ram is bigger, but he's not wider, you know, waist to shoulder ratio, and he was not disconditioned in the back, and he was not complete, I mean, it's not even a comparison, really. Like, Big Ram might be bigger in lower body, but as far as back itself, and like the way this, this pose flows, I think Derek killed him, and I think Derek is going to beat him, not just by one spot, but potentially two or three. Andrew Jack looked pretty good, I don't think he was his Texas Pro version, but he looked good, he's in second callout, Brandon Curry, bigger, but not conditioned, and legs did not really look improved, again, Mikhail Krizo, no tan, but those arms are pretty big, and he's in second callout, I don't know if he deserves to be there, really, uh, Nick Walker, again, very good, very conditioned and full, uh, Derek Lansford, probably the biggest surprise, to me, at least, and Heidi Japan, most likely the winner of the show, I just hope the judges will be fair, actually, and they will give it to him if he deserves it. I know he doesn't speak English, he is not the best uh, ambassador of the sport, he doesn't live in the US, he is from Iran, he doesn't speak English again, and uh, that can hurt him a little bit. I think Derek Lansford would be much, much, much better ambassador. Derek Lansford would be like a perfect ambassador, let's be honest, like he's... He's like a, like a golden boy, right? I mean, all-American golden boy. And uh, he, he would represent bodybuilding so well. But Hadi's physique, I think, is just better. It's more matured. He has bigger legs. He has just more muscle and arguably better conditioning. And this is just talking if it is the case, what I'm saying, if those two guys are in top two. Maybe Big Ram is going to win the show and Nick Walker is going to be second and Brandon is going to be third or whatever. I don't think so. I really don't think so. I just feel like this is going to be the outcome. But you guys can tell me down below in the comment section whatever you think is going to be the case. Blessing of Oribu is obviously all talk. He was not in the first callout. He was not in the second callout. He was not in the third callout. He was at the very end of the fourth callout. He was last name in fourth callout. There were only four guys that were in that fifth callout. So Blessing was a huge disappointment. I thought he was going to be in that top 15, but it seems like he's going to be in that top 25. Uh, he was not conditioned, and it was it, we kind of expected that based on all the physique updates. He did not seem conditioned, and his legs were really small. What Nick Walker said to him during the press conference when he called him out for his legs. He was right. His legs are way too small. But I think this is not the best version of Blessing of Audible, not even close. I think his New York Pro or Indie Pro version would be in that top 15, but still he has a lot more work to do if he wants to compare against Nick Walker. Bonak was good, he brought it, he was conditioned and full, but still compared to the other guys, he was not top uh, top 5, top 6 material, he's in the second call out, deservedly so, uh, is he gonna be beaten by Ian Valier? I don't know, but Ian also brought it, he looked good, he was in second call out as well, he's gonna be a top 10 I think. Alright, now let's check out that second callout. So Ian Valier, William Bonac, Andrew Jack, Hunter Lobrada, Michael Krizo, and Rafael Brandau. I'm pretty sure Andrew Jack is winning this lineup. 
I was surprised that I didn't see him in the first callout, honestly. He looked that good, yeah, he looked amazing. He is a freak. He's the biggest freak on this stage by far. He looks so crazy. I guess the reason why he isn't in the first callout are his hamstrings and glutes. I think this callout is between him and Hunter, but I think he beats Hunter. From the back, none of these guys here look good, like none of them. Bonek, maybe he looks the best, but because of his lower body, but his upper body, he doesn't have the width. Ian looks pretty bad in the back double. Andrew is not very good in the back. Uh, Hunter also. Mikhail Krizh horrible. Uh, and Rafa actually looks pretty good. His back looks pretty good. But, you know, he's, he's thin, he's small for these guys. Back lat spread, different story. Andrew looks pretty good in the back lat spread. But still, like all of these guys in the second callout are in that callout because of their backs. The other six guys in the first callout have much better backs. And as you can see, look at, look at Andrew right here in this crazy side tricep. Like he looks really dominant and his front and side poses are going to be the reason why he places above all of these guys right here. So I say Andrew, Hunter, then Bonek, then Ian, then Krizo, and then Rafael. Although I think Krizo should not be right here in the second callout. I think there are guys that are better than him in the third callout. Like Patrick Johnson, for example. Take a look at him on the left. Actually, later they moved him in the center. Let me show you that. This makes more sense, right? So Patrick Johnson actually looked great. I think he beat James Hollingshead. I think he beat all these guys right here. Charles Griffin also looked pretty good, but his structure, I don't think he's gonna beat Patrick because of that structure. And Akeem Williams, uh, he looked really bad from the back. From the front, he looked pretty good, but from the back, different story. So I think Patrick Johnson should be uh, ahead of Michael Krizo, and that's the only thing I would change right here. But there is still finals to be seen. Most likely, this is going to be the outcome. Prejudging is basically where the judges actually judge. Things can change in finals, but not by too much. Here was the, the, the fourth call out where Blessing was. Even though his name was called out last, I think he beats all these guys right here. I think him and Vlatso Horuchko on his left are battling it out. Tonio Burton on the far left is also right up there. I do not think Blessing should be in the third callout. I think fourth callout is where he belongs. So as I said earlier, they moved Samson down to that second callout. They wanted to see if he deserves to be in that first callout. They compared him to the top three guys in the second callout, Hunter, Andrew and Bonek. And I think he earned his spot. I think he looked the best here. As you can see from the front, Andrew looks the most dominant. He looks better than Samson. But from the back, it was a little bit different story. So they got a Samson back in that first callout. Deservedly so, if you ask me. And uh, I wish Samson had a little bit better glutes. A little bit more defined glutes. Leaner, sharper, drier. If he had that, I know it sounds crazy. But I think he'll be winning this show. Look at him. He is a mass monster among these freaks right here and he has great flow, really beautiful aesthetics, he had good conditioning from the front, and obviously from the side, he was bigger than Brandon Curry, he was fuller and rounder basically, but his glutes had basically no separation, and I think that's why uh, he won't be higher than, than sixth, but I could see him beating Big Ramy, or maybe even Nick Walker, as far as the top three guys, I don't think so. I think I think Hardy is going to win the show. <laughs> I really think so. I mean, look at I think him and Derek are very close, very similar, but Hardy is just bigger version of Derek. Bigger and more conditioned as well. Like especially in those glutes. Look at the gap between the legs that, that Derek has and Hardy absolutely doesn't and he's exposing that on Derek. He has a wider and thicker, more 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 muscular back, but Derek maybe has a slightly better retaper, a slightly smaller waist, but it, it's not enough. It's just not enough. Hardy has bigger legs, bigger back, he's just overall bigger. And then in third, I'll definitely have Brandon Curry. And then in fourth, most likely Nick Walker. Because look at like compare Derek versus Nick right here so the back you know Derek is definitely beating him now in the abs and ties uh, Nick has really thick abs but no e taper you know his his torso is very flat he does look kind of like a brick I mean what Blessing said he's a really blocky and then if you look at the other guys I'm sure I'm positive your eyes are drawn to Hadi I mean his his abs are so defined so thick so good his legs are also shredded and, and big and full and round and Brandon doesn't have that Derek is a little bit weaker than, than Hadi but better than Brandon better than Nick 
big Ramy on the side, not even looking at him because he's all the way to the right. And I just don't think he has the shape or the conditioning or the completeness that he had before. Most muscular, not everybody is flexed. They have another version of this photo as well. But it's not my fault that the Hardy got in the pose first and the other guys were too late. So as you can see, Hardy is looking the most dominant here. Again, I have him winning the Mr. Olympia. Now in this one, Hardy is not flexing, so let's not even look at him. But take a look at the other guys. Take a look at Brandon. He looks pretty good in the upper body, but the legs are definitely lagging. Nick is huge and he's shredded. He's fallen around, but I think Derek did enough to beat him this year. <laughs> I know, big surprise for me, at least. And then you had Big Remy on the, on the far right with a couple of flaws, I just didn't like what Big Ramy looked like, I don't think he's going to be in that top 3 or top 4, I think Nick is going to beat him as well, maybe he's going to beat Samson, but that's about it, I have Big Ramy in 5th. And that is gonna do it for this video, guys. This right here is my top two. I think Hadi did more than enough to deserve this Mr. Olympia title. And I think Derek is in a not so close second. I think Hadi is decisively beating Derek. I think it's much closer between Derek and the other guys, but I think Derek did enough to beat them. I think Hadi is a very decisive winner. I would love to see him compared to Big Ramy. I would love to see them uh, stand next to one another. I think we'll see that in finals. Can't wait to see that. As for now, this is what I see. This is my prediction. And whatever you guys think, what's going to be the outcome, tell me down below in the comment section. Whatever is on your mind, uh, tell me in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. All the best and bye-bye.